Hey everyone, it's Friday night and I'm spending some time under the moonlight and I want you to meet one of my best buddy. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so over there in the sky, that's my buddy shining bright. <laughs> so we have a waxing gibbous moon in Chitra and one of my dear friend Rina has some beautiful lines on this moon. So let's listen to it first. And then we'll talk about how we need to live a life as per the cycles of moon. Why moon is so important for us. Cold heart, moon is a door. Warm up a window glowing from the sun. I live here in the spaces of reflection between the full moon and the waning moon. Potent dark shadows, treasure chest of gifts. Direct to the sea by the cries before me. The bereaved loss, let go, surrender, set free. The moon is my mother, she swells with tenderness. After my inner journey of contemplation, I fall afar from the flowering clouds. She scoops me up at the crescent to ride on her shoulders until the full moon. Down again I fall to the deepest, darkest night to flash a light within my fireflies buzzing cage in my heart the blue the mystical face fades floating glowing devoted gaze hovers i see the same face all curly and wild i know but i love her in me this phase of my specialty close my ears to hear within deep silence self-care couches have tea with just me embrace yourself in the gratefulness around us pictures of all that went right replays. Hold on to the faith train, roller coaster, wax and wane, tremble and shake. A tender time, a space to create, play. Rest in yourself, gather wonder, for you're called to witness what comes new to be true. Trim me a while while you wait, her renew silver slivers of glow. No moon nights, I am lost without your glow, waiting by the window for the renewed cycle crescent. Harvest dreams, envision blooms, gathering seeds, rebel teenagers to plant and dance, sing the songs, elders whisper of prayer for the departed, peace. All blessed fields we set with hope. So this week has been very busy for me. And I think the best thing to do by the end of the week is to recharge yourself under the moonlight. Moon is so important, but underestimated, right? Because moon is the fastest moving planet. I think I have to get inside to continue with this video because there are a lot of sound disturbances. But yes, remember to recharge yourself under the moon whenever it's possible whenever moon is there in the sky and it's shining on you consider yourself you're lucky enough i have been quite lucky because till now throughout my journey i came across many people who had great knowledge of astrology so i would say i have the blessings of many gurus i have learned from so many different people and each one of them had something different to give so I think I can do a video on my gurus maybe someday. But uh, one of my gurus used to say like two, two nights before the full moon, the full moon night and two nights after the full moon. So these are the five nights you should make the best use of this time. Sit under the moonlight and meditate. You know, you need to harness the energy of moon. You need to use it. And this um, recharging of yourself under the moonlight is firstly very beneficial for your health, for your overall well-being, for your mental health, for your beauty, for your physical health. So you know recharging yourself is important and he used to also say that it's important that you recharge water and the moonlight and uh, from that full moon to the other full moon um, have a sip of that water every day so that is the power of moon you know it helps you to uh, heal in a great way and prashara has 
mentioned in uh, in his works that when moon is um, waxing during the waxing period of the moon that is the shukla paksha planets the benefic planets they are more uh, stronger their influence on the world on you is more strong and during the krishna paksha when moon is waning the negative planets the malefic planets are more stronger so even prashara in this one line mentioned how moon its waxing waning nature will impact us in a great way it will impact the world in a great way so waxing waning of moon really impacts us in a such a deep manner and scientifically also our human body is around 55 to 60 percent made of water so we have more of water content and moon controls the water it controls the movement of water whether it's the flow of water and fluids within us or whether it's the flow of the fluids in water in the plants and the trees and the other animals that's why the menses the cycles of women are also connected to the cycles of moon and the waxing waning period the waxing waning cycles of moon represents our highs and lows it represents the human emotions the human mind so human mind do deal with highs and lows nothing is uh, permanent here it changes every day our mood changes every day so moon is very important like there is no other planet like moon every year moon touches each rashi each sign 12 to 13 times where sun touches one rashi once a month so sun goes along that entire zodiac belt the 12 signs in one year whereas moon touches one sign 12 times in a year so moon is closest to earth moon touches every sign the maximum number of time moon gives maximum yogas and moon has a great control over our uh, biological clock as well sun also has a great impact on us but moon is also influencing in a great way it is about sleep it's about your dreams it's about your mental state so today the the entire focus is how to align yourself your life with the cycles of moon how to align yourself according to the alignment of sun and moon on a daily basis because these phases of moon are nothing but the alignment of sun and moon how they are aligned to each other every day so every day that change of shape the change of the light of moon is because of how it is aligned to sun so today let's talk about how we can change our everyday how we can uh, work on our everyday life as per the cycle of moon and how to use the power of moon in a beautiful way whenever sun and moon are together in the same house in the same sign we call it as the new moon or the amavasya on this day when sun and moon are together there is a great mention of uh, doing donations in our shastras donating doing charity donating food and uh, paying respect to our ancestors so this is a day dedicated to the ancestors and it's a very good time to set intentions to make a fresh start clean that mind start everything um, in a new way you know right you have to just clean um, everything that you have to clean that screen and write a new script focusing on what you want to achieve I think this is the best day to set your intentions because here uh, moon is uh, facing towards Sun the bright side of moon is facing towards the Sun and the darker side is towards the earth so as moon is uh, shining towards the sun on this day this means that you are listening to your atma you're listening to your inner voice and it's helping you to clear your mind restoring your energy you have to set up new intentions okay when moon is two to three places away from the sun 
We call it as the waxing crescent moon. This is the best time to make strategies, to make plans how to reach your goals, collecting resources, analyzing what you need to use, collecting supplies. This is the time to, you know, uh, be very hopeful and positive about your goals. Planning is very important at this time. When moon is four places away from sun, we call it as the first quarter. It's a time for implementation. You will be full of excitement at this time. You'll be excited to move forward. Use those plans which you made um, previously. You will work towards making changes and you should work a lot at this time. And also along with that, cherish who you are. Focus on your own happiness. Focus on your lifestyle. So this is the time of implementation. When moon travels five and six places away from sun, we call it as the waxing gibbous moon. And this is the time of constant dedication. Like you have to be consistent with what you are doing. Get rid of all the obstacles at this time. If you are facing any obstacle, which you may do at this time, assess the situation and what you can do about it. It's a very good time to refine your skills, to enhance your skills and your knowledge. And also a very good time to focus on your health and fitness goals. Like if you want to make a major change, with respect to diet, with respect to your um, exercising schedule, I think this is the time to make those plans and implement on it. When moon is seven places away from sun, it is the full moon night. And on this uh, particular time, it's, it's very intense. Your emotions will be running high. There will be a need to feel loved. Your more focus will be towards relationships or I would say this is the time to reconnect with the loved ones. Work on your connections. Solve if there is any issue. Talk about it. Express yourself. Working on your relationships, friendships at this time is important. And also it's, it's the time to release, you know, whatever thing, whatever thought is not letting you grow it's acting as an obstacle let it go release that and also it's a time of celebration be happy and grateful for what you have achieved till now so full moon is about releasing what is not necessary working on your emotional bonds working with your loved ones and celebrating your success is also very important when moon is eight and nine places away from the sun, it's known as the waning gibbous moon. So moon is now starting to um, wane, like the light is getting dimmer. So this is the time when, uh, yes, you have to focus on yourself, focus on self-love focus on protecting yourself from others you have to protect your energy and a lot of focus on cleansing yourself your environment your home is also important like you know like a rebirth kind of a situation where everything needs to be uh, uh, reassessed and this is the time when Cleaning everything from your mind, from your surroundings, everything, whatever is blocking you, you need to remove that. At this time, you may face some internal struggles or some kind of a self-doubt. It's very important that do not drain your energy uh, because of the negative people around you. Um, it's time to conserve your energy. And again, at this time, also relationships uh, might become a major theme. When moon is 10 places away from sun, we call it as the last quarter. And this is the time to create a balance between your personal life and your career path. You may focus a lot on making changes at the professional front. It is the right time, in fact, to um, work on your discipline. If you want 
uh, something to last long at the work front you want to be consistent with it this is the best time to work on those goals and plans also a very good time to get rid of any kind of bad habit or any kind of uh, internal struggle which is keeping you away from your professional success whatever it is blocking you i think this is the time to get rid of those um, habits and also um, a very good time to find a direction to find a strategy how you can reach to your goals so after that it is uh, moon traveling 11 and 12 places away from sun so it's absolutely in the last few stages of waning we call it as the waning crescent moon it's about a time when you need to take rest and focus on your dreams don't challenge yourself at this time do not force yourself to do any work especially if you are tired do not push yourself to do things take rest reassess where you want to go what you want right now does it align with your true happiness or you just want to follow it because others are doing that so again a time to take a break focus on what you want focus on um, creative activities where there is a great use of imagination and giving your mind a break at this time is important so before we conclude this uh, video, let's talk about certain rituals which you can do as soon as the full moon approaches. Remember the rule, um, two nights before the full moon, the entire full moon night and then the next two nights you know, after the full moon, these uh, five nights are important. So what we can do at this time? Well, you can keep certain um, belongings under the moonlight like what all things firstly you can keep your crystals if you are a fan of crystals <laughs> like me you can do that and secondly um, anything which is related to your health fitness you use any um, herb any medicine or any you know beauty product cosmetics anything which you use to take care of yourself you use it to nourish yourself to heal yourself you can keep that under the moonlight you can um, also uh, like if you keep a journal with yourself if you don't keep a journal please do write a journal every day write down your thoughts what are you feeling where you are going and if not every day at least once a week write down what you feel what you're experiencing and what you want to achieve in life it helps a lot so you can you you can keep that journal under the moonlight as well whatever you are writing and um, you can charge water as well or simply you can sit quietly and meditate under the moonlight take the name of Lord Shiva why Lord Shiva because he is a deity who is closely connected to moon he wears the moon on his head and stillness of mind moon and Shiva all connected together so he can help you to have that perfectly peaceful and still mind which does not agitate on small small things small issues so meditation under the moonlight maybe just five minutes is okay and uh, Take the name of whomsoever you believe in, whomsoever deity you believe in, whatever your faith is about. So that's all for today's video. I hope you have, you have found this uh, today's content useful in some way. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.